So here we are facing the world with all these changes and all these heavy energies that are, are present. We cannot avoid it. Um, it's staring us in the face. It's hitting us in the face. Uh, but it is also a time to see the opportunity in this um, transformation. So we are all feeling the shift in the world. It's uh, just uh, will continue. It is also very emotional this time. Um, but this is the time where we are awakening to a new level of being in our body, with our spirits, with our hearts. There is such an opening of hearts because this is our strength. And there is opening also in the mental plane of understanding what is us and what is not us. I'm talking humanity. So I want to talk all, all, on both levels, on a collective level and a personal level, because it all starts with the way that you bring yourself into your life. And that's why I always talk about happiness, because the frequency of happiness is, 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 is the alignment between your soul and your personality. And when you are in that state of vibration, nothing from the lowest things can touch you. You can stay above board and then you can influence the world uh, from a better place. Uh, if you go and sink into the ugliness and the jealousy and fear and uh, regrets, which we're gonna talk about later, I would like us to work today on clearing some regret so we will have more energy and love uh, to uh, command our life and our world. So you have so much power, my friend. Yes, I always would like you to remember that. So as much as you see chaos in the world, which we, it feels like it is out of control for us, remember that it is the, uh, the time of all things being revealed. So all of the underground worlds, and there are going to be more things to come uh, about safety of people, about injustices, about the slave economy we live in. All of those things have to come up in order for us to take this world to the next uh, level. And we will. It's, it's, it has already happened. Um, so. I'm very optimistic about where the world is going. And at the same time, I literally work every day with transmuting those energies uh, to, to, to love. Um, um, and I think every person that see themselves as a midwife to the earth in this transformation and to humanity, that's what we do. And it brings us blessings to live in a good, um, balance with the light and the dark. Um, but this is something that everyone can do. So we will start with a big breath because inviting the breath in is inviting the genius of creation that creates stars and the oceans and flowers and fruits to come into your being. And so we will do that just because we can. Um, and because it is um, helpful. So we take one big breath together. Ah, it's always good to play. The playfulness frequency is so healthy and fun. Even when we're dealing with very heavy things, and I was crying a few hours ago from something that I see that's happening in the world, and that's okay. Processing emotions and allowing ourselves to feel is very important. It's your, it's your power. We just don't want to stay there. So when I, I, I talking about happiness, it's not that I am very good in staying happy all the time. Actually, I think my specialty is to uplift myself from oof, into back into happiness. And this is what we all need to do, to bring yourself into this gorgeous, wonderful feeling of well-being in your body, with your heart, your emotions, your relationship, with your, with your mind, and with the way you are connected to the universe. But okay, we were in breath, 
So let's have one more breath, one more time. Oh, wee, 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 wee. So, um, today I would like to talk about one of the things that robs us from good and high, clean energy of love. And that little sticky thing called regret. And we all have different kinds of regrets. And we all have degrees of the regrets. Uh, we all have regrets that we are aware of, not aware of. Uh, but I feel this time, because we are now in a time where there is this death and rebirth feeling. There is also uh, reviewing time. In these months, we are it's something that we're looking back. And sometimes when you look back and you have the chance to move your life into a next level, if, if you are conscious about that you can let something die and choose for something that lives, um, we can have regret. And I hear that from people, uh, why did I do this? Why did I study that? Why did I stay in this marriage all this time? I could have done that earlier. This energy of regret is very, very uh, making our energy dirty. It robs you of energy. Actually, you can really get exhausted from some emotions and regret and resentment are, 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 are one of them. So I thought, why don't we try to have a little bit of a cleaning of regret in this way so we can be a little bit lighter and we can face the next chapter and if something will hit us in the face uh, with news or something that's happening, we will have more room to consciously choose for what we want to manifest and what we want to create personally and collectively. So. I would like us to close our eyes for a second. Oh, yes. And just feel yourself in the space you're in. Just give yourself a few minutes to be present. If you want, you can um, touch your, your, your hands, your legs. Just feel the borders of your body. Relax your shoulders. And let's take one breath that is very personal to you, quiet. It's not expressive like the one we did before. Just for yourself, take a breath that you feel is absolutely feeding you to the place of the body where you need it the most. I feel for many of us, uh, it is around the heart because we all have a lots of uh, heartache. Lots of mothers and fathers in the world have heartaches. These days when we see some things that are hurting our gentle nature and our wish for humanity and for other people. So... Let's uh, let, uh, let ourselves breathe into this heart. Okay. Um, I would like to would like to do sound healing, but I don't have the right equipment. So we will just uh, listen to this sound. And we ask that in this moment, with the grace of life and creation, we allow ourselves to be at rest just for this moment, to be present in our body, present with what we hear, present with what we feel, present with where our life is at the moment. Mm. Present with what we see and feel behind our eyes. And just allow your 
your face and the back of your eyes to relax. Just be present with what we feel on the top of our heads. Mm. Just allow yourself to feel the presence of two guardian angels behind you. And it doesn't matter which religion you are, or which spirituality you have and believe, you can sense your own love and divine protections that you have. Just allow that to be there and guard you. Allow yourself to receive the feeling that you are worthy of love, unconditional love, protection, kindness, and peace. Now allow yourself to sense the front of your body around your chest area and see if there is something there that can receive attention from you. Just visualize if there is something in front of you, on your chest, in your heart, around your heart, it maybe feels a bit heavy or a little bit shrank or a little bit stressed. And it's okay, we are here, we are together. We can take care of it with love. And if you feel a bit more comfortable to look a bit further, maybe it looks like an object or a color or an animal, something that needs a little bit of attention. If it's ugly or if it's monstrous or it's even more, let's, let us give it permission to show itself. And just mark in your head what is the thing that you feel. You see, you see a black dog or a piece of metal or just watch for yourself, activate your own visualization and imagination power. And just allow yourself to feel what is the thing that needs, desperately needs attention that is on your heart or around your heart or in front of your heart. And let's just look at it. Breathe. Sometimes it's hard. Just breathe and look. What happens when, it's, when it feels your attention? And let's say to it, in the Haponopono prayer, I am sorry that you are in this state. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you. I love you. This part of us that is there is our friend. And thank you. Thank you for being here. And we give it permission to transmute and be whatever it needs to be. Take a big breath and allow it to change. And we take one minute to, to watch. And your imagination will guide you. Your subconscious mind will talk to you in images as, as always. And see if it's changing to something that is a bit more free than what it was. One more breath. Yes. Give it permission to be free. Unconditional love. And return back to the part of your heart 
where you can find the golden ball of perfection and unconditional love. And give that attention. Maybe it's small, maybe it's inside the heart, maybe it's around. But now that we are looking at it, it gets energy to grow and to sparkle. Yes, it's so lovely to see this beautiful golden ball. And we allow it to grow bigger and include all of our heart and all of our chest and expand and expand until we feel like a person inside a majestically gorgeous golden light bulb. Yeah. And inside the bowl, we receive all of the information to every cell of our body of how it feels like to be totally at peace with where we are how it feels like to be protected and safe. And how it feels like to be unconditionally loved by source, creator, or God. I just feel that effortlessly the ball is traveling up. In the speed of light, you feel nothing except that there are changes, it becomes lighter inside the ball and inside your body and you can literally start to float. And you go up to the first world, second world, third world, fourth world. Fifth world, sixth world, seventh world. There it feels like life is standing still. There's only love for you to feel. the golden ball becomes transparent and you can float into this white light space. You can float on your back, on your front, you can swim. light creation I'm willing to give you all my regret and I give you all my sadness and I give you all heaviness in my heart and in my body You can feel balls of light dancing around your body, your face, your head, your heart, your neck, your pelvis, your stomach, your back, caressing you, massaging you, 
cleaning you, purifying you. You can just allow yourself to let go. Let go of disappointment that doesn't serve you to hold. We hold and keep the lessons and the wisdom we gained. The rest of it can go. You feel that your face is smiling with gratitude to the light of all that is. And to all of your body, all of your bodies, your spiritual body, your astral body, your mental body, your emotional body, your physical body, and you let go of everything that doesn't serve and that happens effortlessly. You deserve to live and to feel unconditional love entering into your body, into your life, making you a bigger person, giving you the knowledge and the feeling of how it is to live from the fifth dimension while on earth and giving you permission to be all that you are born to be and to remember who you are. Beautiful spirit, beautiful soul and spark of creator. That is what you are. And allow yourself to dance with the balls of light. Allow yourself to receive. Let's drop this program that you don't deserve. And let's drop this program of that you should not receive, be loved, or remember who you are. You follow your own heart and excitement to remember your purpose, to bring more joy to your life, to your body, to your family, and if you want, to the world. Yes. And that this knowledge is in you now. Nothing and nobody can take that away. If that's what you want, just say yes. Wow. So much light. Take as much as you can and bring it with you to us on earth. Your golden ball is coming. It's time to say goodbye and thank you to Creator. Source of all life. And we go in our golden ball. And there you can thank all of your guides and angels, ancestors, galactic friends, helpers, elementals. You feel the ball going down from the seventh world to the sixth to the fifth, to the fourth, to the third, to the second, to the first world. And you are back in your body.
and you are in your room where you started with, with me. Breathe into your beautiful physical body that's holding you connected and all the light you brought into yourself and to your physical body is now on earth. That's a wonderful fulfillment of purpose to bring more light into our planet, into humanity. Just move your body if you want. Yeah, thank you for letting go of all this regret and resentment and frustration and allowing yourself to be here. Take last breath for this session. And let it out. Yes. And remember, you're not alone in your wish to see end of suffering for yourself, for your family, for your country, for humanity, for the planet. Remember that we are massive. We are coming together. We are unstoppable. We are full of love, even to the negative forces that try to bring us down. They forgot how it is to be with creator. But we remember. And we remind ourselves every time we can. And we remind our children. And we remind the world with everything we say, everything we sing, everything we create, everything we do, everything we make. That is your power, changing life on earth and your life on earth by being conscious about your own voice, your own heart, your own mind, your own power. You hear the bells of them. <laughs> Thank you, Creator, for giving us direct connection to you. And I hope you enjoy that and that you feel better and that you will enjoy this transformation that's coming and accept what is coming. What must die, must die, and what must live and grow and prosper will be, and we accept where we are. Can you hear